Greetings. This is Indian in the Machine. What you're looking at is a post from One News entitled Incredible Low Flying Cloud Ship Photo of Extraterrestrial Visitation is unlike anything I've seen before or since. Now, this is the photo. And this photo has extreme significance for me because this was the moment by which I knew that we were receiving extraterrestrial visitation in our atmosphere and there was no doubt in my mind and in my heart. In fact, you can, you can see it actually looks like half of a heart shape kind of tilted on its side a little bit but uh, now look how unusual this cloud quote-unquote is it's a cloud ship meaning it's an extraterrestrial cloaked spaceship and their cloud ships can morph and take on different shapes so you might be able to notice in this image but this cloud was by itself this cloud ship and it was very low in the sky in fact it looked like it was floating over the neighborhood now at this time I was uh, well I got another photo here I'll show you So here's the other photo. So what I had, what I did, uh, I remember, I think I was waking up, it was early afternoon or late morning, and I saw that cloud ship and I was like, oh, okay, wow, 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 I need to get a picture. And then I figured, well, I need to get a picture with me because I, I need to mark this occasion. This is, some, there's something going on here. So, uh, you'll notice my hair, um, I know it's a mess, but uh, I think I was just waking up and I was just, for the first time in my life, I was starting to grow my hair out. So, uh, that would have been then when I was done teaching, I was just uh, at the beginning of my spiritual awakening and... That was the time for, for the first time I decided to grow my hair out. So you'll notice in the cloud ship that it's just a very unusual energy. And because uh, the, the, sun, the sun was uh, behind it there, that it was uh, giving off like rainbow or colory effects. So. It had color to it, it was low in the sky, it had what I would call like geometric shapes within it, and it was appearing to like fly low in the neighborhood. So this was when I knew then that we were receiving extraterrestrial visitation, and I really clicked into it from here. I mean, I had things happen to me before this, but, but this was like a defining moment when I was just confirmed within that we are, we were and are receiving that visitation. So I documented over the years, lots of this, and I posted at my one news website I posted at IndianInTheMachine.com and also at Sylphs and UFO Cloud Ships website. This website has been going now for 13 years. So this was started then I'd say about six years uh, after that photo. So I had a lot of visitation and uh, I was uh, even doing some uh, darkroom work and developing some images that way and uh, 
I actually lost a lot of the images, but uh, this website remains a place where a lot of the images over the years I've reposted from not only myself, but from other sky researchers. So, this includes the sylphs, this includes the cloud ships, this includes the angels, and this includes the spirit clouds. Okay, so I'm showing you these titles because, you know, this is other, this is literally otherworldly stuff in the sense that it's off-world energies of visiting Earth. Now, this isn't just you know, like, this isn't just some sort of a quirky thing, you know, like the National Enquirer or, or something. It's just, this is documented research, scientific research of visitation. Okay, and I know a lot of you are now, more and more, are seeing unusual things in the sky. And you don't know what you're looking at. You don't know how to interpret what you're seeing. And you don't even know why it's happening. And this would be a website to come and check things out and see if you can connect with what I'm sharing here. So if you look at some of these headlines, like these headlines are just would appear to be unbelievable to a third dimensional person but I know what I'm seeing I've been researching this now for close to 20 years at least and I would be considered one of the ground crew for these types of visitations. This has been a passion of mine over the years to see that this information is collected and available to anyone that might want to know more. You might want to see what's going on with the uh, might want to see what's going on with the uh, chemtrails and how the cloud ships and the sylphs are neutralizing the toxins that by the way people were designed to kill off most of the life on this planet okay so if you want to know more about how they are showing us that in the sky. This is the website. Look at, I use some of the reflection images. Look at this angel. Okay. So go to this website if, if you're feeling hopeless. If you're feeling like we're not receiving help because we are but we have to pay attention and we have to join in the story this is our story this isn't just my story this type of activity is taking place overhead over every single one of you all the time okay and they're doing that because we are part of the galactic family. We're part of the family of creation. So slowly and subtly, but with ever increasing visibility and presence, this is happening. They're saving our assets, meaning our galactic family. 
because while we're busy playing Earthling, pretending to be, you know, like half unconscious or nearly completely unconscious humans roaming Earth looking for stuff to do, there's a galactic war taking place over our heads. Okay, so what I'm sharing with you here is 14 years, 13 years of documented evidence of this galactic war and the visitations from the spirit world and the galactics and the angels. Okay, so that's my message. That's why I've saved this image over the years. Because this image woke me up. And just maybe it'll maybe it's gonna wake someone else up out there. Not only this image, but what I've shared with you today. So stay positive and keep looking up. Thank you for listening.